Go. Hello, my friends. Uh, oftentimes when uh, you order a whole brisket, I know that you asked me about how to cut it, and I just want to show you today exactly how I cut it. But I want you to remember that uh, I'm not right. Nobody else is wrong. This is the way I cut briskets. There are many different methods and ways to do it in different traditions, the way people like to cut them. I want to get that out of the way. This is how I cut them. Take the flat end, and remember I'm left-handed, so if you're right-handed, reverse this. But the flat end, which is the more narrow end, and you see the other muscle that runs this way, the point muscle, you can see the hump where that begins to happen. First cut that I make is right as that hump, right in between right there, and make that first cut right there. And I turn this piece around to my strong side, which is my left hand, and turn this piece this way because the grains are running differently. And then just simply start making cuts down this side, thinner cuts, I like thinner cuts on these on the flat. It doesn't have as much fat in it and marbling, so it helps to make these thinner. Your guests will appreciate the uh, the texture and the ease of enjoying the brisket with thinner slices on this end. Go all the way on this one, all the way to the end. It's a good tender brisket, just like we like it. And I take this, take that entire piece, put it in your service on a service tray if you're at home, or in this in this case, we're preparing for a catering. On this end, you'll see humps as well. Take this corner on the side, make that cut, and set that burn-in piece right there. Take this cut on the other end of it. These are the burn-ins that everybody wants. And then this hump on the end right here, I kind of square this off. Put these up here, those will go last. Now, because you've already turned this muscle this way, you're cutting against the grain, and then just start making these beautiful point slices these can be a little thicker and they really need to be because if you cook the brisket properly it's going to be this is going to be very very tender if you cut these pieces too thin there's a good uh, likelihood of them just falling apart and you want it to fall apart in your mouth not on the cutting board Come over and get a, a close-up of this. This is what you would want your this cut to look like. Thank you. Now take these pieces and start over here on this end, on this tapered end, and cut at an angle from your strong side. You'll be cutting this with the grain and this is so tender it'll fall apart as well if you don't do it like this if you try to cut straight up and down on this this stuff is so tender it'll just fall apart this this side cut straight from the top and you're making burn ins for your guests Another side angle piece. Like that, and then take your, your juice that you save and put your juice on top. Put most of your juice on that first cut you made on the flat. It's got less natural fat in it. So I save most of the juice for the smaller pieces. 
this piece over here, <clears throat> these pieces, they don't need moisture. They're plenty uh, moist enough as they are. So there's a, just a quick uh, walk through one cut. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.